So in the last video, we have seen how to find a factorial of a number, but we need to convert this into a recursion way, right? So we don't we want a factorial of a number using a recursion concept. So what we'll do is, uh, so basically when you say recursion, it is function calling itself, right? Now when I say I want five factorial, so which 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 also means we can find five into four factorial, right? And to give you 4 factorial, we can find uh, 4 into 3 factorial, right? And then go, it goes on till uh, 1 factorial and then the output of 1 factorial will be given to the 2 factorial. So that 2 factorial will find it with the help of, let's do it, to, just to make your concept clear. We'll say 3 into 3 into 2 factorial and then we have 2 factorial which is 2 into 1 factorial, right? So if you can if you can get this value, which is 2, right? So one everyone knows what is 1 factorial. So we, we'll say 2 into 1 factorial, you will get 2. So 2 factorial is 2. Then 3 into 2, since 2 factorial is 2, so it will give you 2. And then you will get 6 here. And then 4 into 6, you will get uh, around 24. And then it will be 5 into 24, which is 120, right? So we are calling the function. So this function will call this function. This function will call this function and then it goes on. So we are calling the same function with different parameter. So initially you have to say factorial of 5, then you have to say factorial of 4, factorial of 3. So how to do that? Uh, we don't require all this thing. We don't require a for loop here. We'll simply, uh, let's return 1 here just to, just to make sure we, do, we are not getting an error. What we'll do is we'll check if my value is or my n value is not equal to 1. Okay, if not equal to 1, we'll return a value because if it, if it is a it, if it is 1, we'll return 1. Otherwise, we'll return otherwise, it will, will return what? We'll return n into fact of n minus 1. Now, see the advantage. When you say I want factorial of 5, so we'll say 5 into 4 factorial okay and when your n value is 4 now we'll say 4 into 3 factorial and it goes on till the value till your value is 1 or it's not value your value is not 1 as soon as you get a value which is 1 it will return a 1 value so in will indirectly you will be getting since it follows stack so 1 will give you 1 then 2 factorial will give you 2 3 factorial will give you 6 4 factorial will give you 24 and then eventually you will get 20, uh, 120 for 5 factorial so let's make it 5 again and let's run this you will be getting what 120 and if i change it to 6 you will be getting around 720 for 6 factorial Cool. So that's how we have to implement recursion. So you can see we are calling the same function. So function is calling itself. Simple. So that's how you find recursion in C programming.